and welcome to our lesson on solving quadratic equations graphically. We have the equation y is equal to x squared and we're going to use this graph to solve other equations. So we'll start with question a. We have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. We also have x squared is equal to y. So what we need to do is make the left hand side of this equation equal to x squared. We can do this by adding 4 to both sides because the negative 4 and the positive 4 will cancel. So we're left with x squared will equal 4. And now we can we can see that this side is equal to this side. So the y is equal to 4. We can see that this works because we have x squared is equal to y, but y is equal to 4. And when we take away 4 from both sides, we are left with the equation we are trying to solve. So we need to draw the line y is equal to 4. So the line y is equal to 4 is a horizontal line which crosses 4 on the y axis. And now we're going to find which values of x lead to the solution of y is equal to 4. So we'll draw a vertical line at this point and a vertical line at this point. So the vertical line will go down to the x axis on this side and the same on the other side. So our solutions are when x is equal to negative 2 and when x is equal to positive 2. So x is equal to plus or minus 2. Okay, let's try question B. For question B, we have x squared minus x will equal 0. And we're going to solve this equation using x squared is equal to y. So we need the left hand side to equal x squared, which we can achieve by adding x to both sides, because the negative x and the positive x will add to make 0. x squared will equal 0 and x, which is x, which means that y must be equal to x. Let's check that this works. We, we have x squared is equal to y, but y is x. And we take away the x from both sides. These will cancel and we're left with the equation we are trying to solve. So we need to draw the line y is equal to x. So the line y is equal to x is this line here. We'll label that as y is equal to x. And you can see the two solutions are here when x is equal to 0 and here where x is equal to 1. OK, let's move on to question C and D. So do you want to try question C and D by pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. OK, for question C, we have x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And we're going to solve this using the equation x squared equals y. So we need the left hand side to equal the x squared. To do this, we're going to add the x to both sides. So these will cancel and we're going to add 1 to both sides. So these will cancel. So we're left with x squared is equal to x add 1. So y is equal to x add 1. Let's check that this works. We have x squared is equal to y, but y is x add 1. When we take away x from both sides and we take away the 1 from both sides, 
needs will cancel as will needs and we are left with the equation we are trying to solve. So we're going to draw the line y is equal to x plus 1. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 plus 1. So y will equal 2. When x is equal to 2, y will equal 2 plus 1. So y will equal 3. And when x is equal to 0, y will equal 0 plus 1. So y will equal 1. Now we'll draw a line through these points. We'll label the line y is equal to x plus 1. And the two solutions will be where the two lines cross, so here and here. And you can see the two solutions will be when x is approximately negative 0 0.6 and when x is approximately 1.6. Okay, let's try question D. So if you haven't managed to try question D yet, you can pause the video and try it now, and then you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we have 2x squared minus 3 is equal to 0, and we're going to solve it using the equation x squared equals y. So we need the left hand side to equal x squared, which we can do by adding 3 to both sides. These will cancel, so we have 2x squared will equal 3, divide both sides by 2, and these will cancel because they will make 1, so x squared will equal 1.5. So you can see we need to draw the line y is equal to 1.5. We can check that this works, we have x squared is equal to, and I'm going to write this as a fraction, which is 3 over 2. I will multiply both sides by 2, and these will cancel. So 2x squared will equal 3, take away 3 from both sides, and these will cancel, and we're left with the equation we're trying to solve. So we need to draw the line y is equal to 1.5. So here's the line y equals 1.5. I'll just label the line. I'm going to draw a vertical line to the x-axis where the two lines intersect. So we have our two approximate solutions of x, which are here and here. So x is approximately equal to negative 1.2 and x is approximately equal to 1.2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.